Hey guys, what's up? So I have spent the last legit, like last hour and a half, two hours looking for a fucking song, which is non-copyrighted first of all, longer than 30 minutes and, you know, it has tunes in it like, that I like, okay, to listen to and it's been fucking AIDS, mate, legit. Um, but at the end of this video, like you guys will see like it just kind of cuts off. There's no like me, you know, there's no outro, me endorsing the channel or saying what the channel is about and if this does get any views or new viewers in, then that would be awesome. Um, so if you guys who don't really know what the channel's about, I am uh, a Shaco main, okay? We're currently Diamond 2 and OCE with like a 60% Shaco win rate. Um, and yeah, we're just striving to get to Challenger at the moment. We also stream as well, so a link to that will be in the description, uh, as will be a link to the Twitter, to the song I'm using. Um, and yeah, it'd just be awesome if you guys subscribe to a channel that you think will be informative and useful to, you know, I don't know, beneficial to you, you know, helping you get better at league. That's what this channel is really designed for, especially champions that I'm accustomed to playing, so especially Shaco. Um, maybe maybe a bit of Riven and, and a few others, but it's just primarily Shaco. So you guys who want to get better at Shaco to see gameplays, full gameplays, me commentating over gameplays and stuff like that, tips and tricks videos and, and videos like this, as I do say in this video, as you'll see, um, this is going to be part of like a trilogy, so there's going to be a beginner's guide, which is this video, then an intermediate guide to Shaco, and then an expert guide to Shaco as well, a more advanced tutorial or whatever on it, um, but we may have to do like another beginner's one, because I missed a, uh, uh, some stuff out, um, and I never expected it to be this long as well, um, and I actually cut like probably 10 minutes out. So, but anyway guys, um, enough of me ranting this video is long enough, so if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up, and yeah, hit that subscribe button if you uh, haven't already. Alright boys, cheers. What the fuck is going on guys, it's your boy Easy, the Mad Shatter, the Goat Shacker, Norwich 101, whatever you guys want to call me, receding hairline, which is why we've got the fucking beanie on. Must apologise as well, by the way, for looking like somebody who's just come out of a concentration camp, with all the grey. The grey attire. But anyway, this is a beginner Shaco guide, and this is going to be the first video of three. See what I did there? Of a, of a three video series, if you will. So this is going to be obviously the first one, the beginner guide. The second one will be an intermediate version, and the third one will be like an expert advanced tutorial on how to play Shaco and carry wood. And once you get higher in ELO. So this video is aimed at really those guys in like low ELO, so I'd say silver, bronze, maybe even gold, who are struggling with Shaco, or they want to play him, or they're new to the champion, something like that. So it's going to be a very basic champion spotlight, showing you guys the fundamentals, the basics that you need to get down pat, even before you play. So runes and masteries will go through, builds will go through, summoner spells, which is kind of obvious if you're playing in jungle, uh, leveling abilities, and knowing your jungle matchup and stuff like that and what lanes to gank, etc. So some general things in there. I also I also um, did a bit of research as well. Most of the Shaco guys on YouTube just talk about uh, know when to pressure, know when to fight the enemy jungler. Or, you know, they're very, very general. Nothing's really concrete. So I'm going to try in this video to be as specific as I can because I know low elo players don't really like, they don't really understand if I say, uh, to snowball this, you need to... They don't really know how to implement it. Or if I say, um, you want to pressure the map as much as you can, they don't know how to do it. So I'm going to go through step by step in all these, you know, the series, this series, of how you can carry a Shaco. And this is just like a kind of setup. You know, this we're kind of, instead of taking, you know, a jump into it, we're kind of, you know, a slow walk into the champion just to know what he does in his kit and all that stuff. But this is very basic. If you guys have, I think I said this before, because I've done this so many fucking times, I can't remember what I said. But if you guys, as, as hopefully I said before, if you guys are a master at Shaco or whatever like that, you guys are not going to benefit from this video. Probably not at all, okay? So please don't expect to learn anything out of this video. This is designed for those guys who are new to Shaco. Um, so let's get into the cancer. Right. Runes. This is what you guys are going to run, okay? you got to copy this. In future videos, in the intermediate one, I will go through different variances that you can have in your runes and masteries and even builds, okay? But for this one, we're going to go through the very basic runes and masteries that will work in any game you play, okay? Copy that. Have you done that? Good, okay, let's move on. But no, so we're going AD marks, armor seals, very, very basic, AP bliss, which helps with our box because it's AP. Um, and helps with our clear early. Attack damage and then attack speed, two, two attack speed coins. But this is just helping us early game. All right, and the armor runes just help, you know, taking damage from whatever if we gank your lane and, you know, anything like that. Just basic. Just copy that for that, okay? Next one is the mastery tree. Now, 
Variances again, there can be, but this is the one I want you guys running if you are new to Shaco, if you are a beginner, okay? Hence the title, Beginner's Guide to Shaco. So copy this. Done? Okay, sweet. That was it for the first part of this video. How fucking easy was that? But now, legit, now I'm going to go into a practice tool and I'm going to go through uh, the builds and whatever else with you guys in there, how to gank and stuff like that, jungle matchups, you know, your pathing, everything like that with Shaco that you guys need to know. All right, so I'll see you very, very shortly. Right, boys, what's going on? Now, I'm not sure how fucking easy this is because I've done it like three times now and failed. But anyway, welcome to the second half of this video, by the way. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this video is running through the abilities, what's a level first and stuff like that, summoner spells, your build, your you know item builds, of course, uh, knowing when to gank and stuff like this, knowing what lanes to gank and how to gank and all that stuff, and how to use your abilities and kit, basically. Okay. Now, I'm going to go through a full jungle clear of me actually doing the clear. So don't worry about if you don't understand it or can't envision, you know, doing it early or jungle clearing early. So don't worry about it. I will do that in due time. But first of all, I want to focus on the summoner spell. So we've got Ignite and we've got Smite. Now, if I fuck up this video, okay, if I, like, this video may last like 20 minutes, it may last 30. I'm not sure how long it lasts. That's a fuck load of time for me to fuck up in. You know what I mean? I've got a big chance to fuck up. You know what I mean? So if I do fuck up, I'm probably just going to play this out. So if you guys see me, you know, make a mistake or say something or just go blank, please forgive me. Okay, this is the first video we've done in this sort of fashion. Okay, so please forgive me, fam. Um, but anyway, let's let's get uh, right into the cancer. Uh, and I've said that fucking twice now. I'm so sorry. I'm such a gimp. Uh, Summon of spells. What we want to do is go ignite and smite. Smite, of course, don't need to get into. Ignite. Now, we run ignite because now I have seen some... The high level shackos run flash or exhaust, but we're gonna run ignite. Let me just have a sip of water. We're gonna run ignite because it makes our 1v1s if we're 1v1 of your champion a lot more potent. We have a greater chance of killing them. We also have a greater chance of killing people when we gank. Okay, it gives us another tool to use. Okay, adds to our kit, our offensive kit. And the level one, not level one, but early game, if we ever 1v1 the enemy jungler, it gives us a lot more pressure in that 1v1 because if they fight us, our ignite is going to do probably how much damage? Like 70? 70 true damage over 5 seconds. So 70 damage, that's like another auto in there. And you guys have to trust me, once you get higher in ignite, that 70 damage means a lot. Okay, it could be the difference between you getting one kill, first blood, and then snowball in the whole game, or it could be the difference between you losing that 1v1 and the, and the uh, snowball happening on you, okay? So run Ignite, all right? Just copy what I've got here, fam. Now, let's go through the abilities. So your backstab, Shaco's basic attack critically strikes for 130% plus six magic damage when striking a unit from behind. Now, this is why we run the AP Gliss, okay? Because it synchronizes with our backstab and it also complements our W as well, which you'll get into in a minute, okay? So AP Gliss, as I said before, I don't really want to explain it too much. You guys are just gonna have to fucking trust me. Now. If we, so the backstab hit, so as I said before, so all you want to think about here is if you attack something or someone, a champion from behind, you're going to do more damage. That's how I want you guys thinking about it. So, if we attack this bloke, it does 71 damage, the yeah, other attack. Alright, so we're doing 71 just for basic attack to this guy in front of him, okay? If we go behind him and proc our passive, our backstab here, we do nearly 150. So that damage is actually doubled, okay? Which is why we run the AP, because it enhances the damage of our backstab early and our boxes, which I'll show you in a minute. So backstab, all we have to do is go up behind someone and hit them in the back. And you can actually tell if you backstab them or not by the, just the sound it makes. So if we backstab them and proc our passive, it makes like a crisp kind of sound the auto does. So if you guys can hear here, can you hear that? It's like a crispy, more distinct auto attack and that is uh, that denotes that we've backstabbed them and propped up passive. Um, and I'll show you the difference between a backstab and a normal. That's a normal basic attack. It just sounds normal and blunt, okay? Now, one tip I will give you guys. You don't have to go behind people or whatever you're attacking to proc your passive, okay? You can actually hit them in the side and proc your backstab. Yeah, but yeah, all I, got, all I want you to worry about level one is just getting this backstab on your jungle camp. So of course you don't have to run all the way around. You can run like here and get it. Don't really worry about getting it the fucking perfect like angle, the perfect, you know, fucking grid reference or whatever on the map just to get it off. Just worry about going behind the camp and proccing the backstab as much as you can, okay? That's all I want you guys worrying about. 
but that is a tip, okay? So the Q is your deceive, okay? Now all I want you guys to focus on is the first two lines. Shako teleports nearby and becomes invisible for 1.5 seconds. Shako remains invisible even if you use a Jack in the Box or Hallucinate. So Jack in the Box is your W, Hallucinate is your ultimate. So he remains invisible even if you use these abilities, which is nice. So teleports nearby, what does that mean? It means we pretty much travel a distance forward or wherever our mouse is aiming um, while invisible. Okay? Pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to go into much depth there. Let me just all refresh cooldowns and mana. But we can use this, okay, to go over walls, for example. I think I just sounded really fucking bent then. I'm sorry about that. Um, so we can use this to go over walls, as you can see. So we teleport a short distance wherever we're aiming. Yeah? So you guys can see, hopefully in vision anyway, even without playing Shaco, how this will be useful in like skirmishes or outplaying your opponents, um, in, even in team fights and stuff like that. This is just very, very useful now in that regard. So yeah, so our level one, instead of being three seconds like it used to be, is only 1.5, which is why I want you guys doing a full clear early, which I will also show you how to do, which is, uh, yeah, so that's why, because our ganks early don't really do that much. Like, only 1.5 is just pointless, and normally they're going to be a waste of time. We'll do it mid again, because it's probably a better result. If we queue from here, we don't even get to the middle of that. We actually get here, okay? And I'm actually going to put, put a wall there, because it will be important later. Nice to show you guys. So, our queue level 1 really doesn't do anything. So, don't worry about ganking or doing anything really early game until you hit level 4, all right? This is just to show you guys like the length and duration of it and how kind of weak it is early. All right, so that's our cube. W is the jack in the box, which is what does the most damage early game and it's gonna help if you're clear and whatever, which I'll show you guys in due time. So this big fella right here, this is why we run the AP list as well, does 15 damage and he uh, he uh, attacks every one point, what is it? He attacks 1.36 times in one second, every second, which is a lot, okay, for level one. So you can imagine having four of these guys up or whatever so the cooldown is 16 at level one you can imagine having four of these guys up at like a buff or you know red buff or camp how quickly you do it with all these guys up okay now as you can see here dax deal 35 plus three magic damage why we run the ap glyphs and it'll also 60 plus one seconds which we'll get into a bit more later when we do the full clear okay so this thing level one does a lot of damage all right, on early game at least. So when we won't be wanting a jungler or when we're ganking or whatever, if we get one of these down and it does damage to them, we're probably going to win that one v one. Okay. Now I don't really want you guys worrying about this in you know skirmishes or one v ones just yet. I want you guys worrying about this for our early clear. Okay, that's what we're really going to be focusing on. Now your E is your two shift poison. Okay. So it reduces movement speed by 20%, so it's got a slow, which is nice, and throws a shift, so like a dagger, one of these things he's got in his hand, um, and deals magic damage equal to 5 plus 55 plus 11. So it's actually, it um, does AP and AD, but because we're going AD, that's all we care about, and it's going to do the most damage in our kit, okay, out of our abilities. Um, and it does 3% of the target's missing health. Now, I could go into, like, you know, uh, intricacies or whatever already, but I'm not going to. All we want to think about, guys, is uh, this is like our slow. This is our CC when we gank. So if someone's trying to get away, we're going to E them and then walk up to them and try and kill them. It slows the target and does damage. All right, that's going to be it's going to do our most damage when we max it and when we build some AD and it slows them as well. So very, very useful for ganking. Now, when we're leveling up early, guys, this is what I want us to do, which I will show you later as well. We're going to have this like level three or whatever. Don't worry about level one and two, I'll show you later. But what we're gonna do when we level up here is we're gonna put three points in Q. So remember how I said before the pre-nerf, pre, you know, like um, remaking, rework Shaco, uh, his Q at level one was three seconds, lasted three seconds. It now lasts three seconds when you have three points in it. A lot of threes there, hopefully you guys understood it. Okay, so instead of going from, where was it, okay. When we ganked over here before, we probably made it about here, right? I guess that's pretty fair. Now, if we gank mid, we get twice as far. Obviously, 1.5 times 2 is 3. Well done, me. Um, but no, you, you guys can see like how much more useful that is. So say we were to gank mid from over here, we have a lot more time to get behind the guys, put a box up, and do some damage to them. We get a lot further in lane, and it just gives us an even bigger chance. First of all, getting the backstab and blowing summoner spells, getting a kill and stuff like that, makes our ganks more potent, as I say again, okay? So we want three points in Q at level five, okay? 
Now, when we level up here, we're going to get our ultimate. Now, what does your ultimate do? Well, let's read it. Chaco vanishes briefly and reappears with a clone. Okay. The clone lasts up to 18 seconds and detonates when it dies, damaging 200 plus 18. Don't really worry about the damage and spawning three mini jack in the boxes. So when your clone either expires or dies, it spawns three mini jack in the boxes. If you guys remember your jack in the boxes, the W. So it spawns three of these instantly. It's quite so yeah, you can control your clone, whatever. So say we were about to take a skill shot from I don't know an Elise Cocoon came out of this bush or whatever. Say we're one be wanting someone, we need to dodge it. So say now we tap this and we become invulnerable. So any skill shots will go through us and we'll dodge them. Okay, so this is all awesome for Oriana ultimates, um, Elise Cocoons, Lee Sin, Qs. You can actually dodge Lee Sin's R by doing this, but you have to get, first of all, lucky, but also like kind of anticipate it. What we're going to do, guys, is reset the game again. So we're back here. We're going to add ourselves some nice gold. I probably would be on this gold, to be honest, if I backed after my first bag anyway. But no, legit. Um, okay, so first build, obviously we get these three items first. So the refill potion, we get this first because first of all, we don't need health pots, okay, because Shaco's early clear is so good. We don't need three health pots. And first of all, it's more efficient, okay? First of all, if we go back, you know, once, twice, three times and buy health pot after health pot, we're just wasting gold. All we need is 150 and that's it. We probably don't even need this, to be honest, if you get a really good leash early, but yeah. Refill potion, hunter's machete, obviously, and then the uh, trinket as well. So the build, okay. So we get this first, this is our first first buy guys, obviously off the rip. Now our first back is we want a tier map. That's what we're aiming for after our first back. So when we do this full clear, okay, exactly the same guys on what side, you always want to start your blue. I want you guys starting blue anyway. And when we, then we'll talk about like strategies later on. I want you guys starting blue first, okay? And we're gonna go blue, grump, wolves. We're gonna do a full clear all the way down to golds, okay? Now after this, we'll have around 900 to 950 gold if I recall correctly. And hopefully after doing this, we'll be still, you know, healthy enough to maybe gank bot lane or do scuttle grab or invade and get some camps or something like that. So on our first back, we always want to try and get a tier map. Okay, that's the aim. Now, after you get tier map, I'm going to give you two scenarios here, okay? Two different builds. If you guys are ahead, all right, I want you guys getting mobiles as soon as you can. This is only if you're ahead. I don't mean 1-1 one, one or 2-1. I mean like 4-0, 5-0. Or even better than that, beg my pardon. That was disgusting. Um, beg your pardon, I should say. Now, so we go team at first on our first back, that's the main aim, and then we want to go mobiles as soon as we can if you're ahead. So this build I'm gonna show you guys here. Um, so there's two two uh two scenarios. If you're ahead, I want you going this. So we go mobiles. We're then gonna go triforce, okay. Now, I actually don't mind if you go Triforce or the Warrior Enchantment first, but I want you guys getting these two as your second and third items, okay? Or fourth, however, however which way you look at it. So I want you guys getting Triforce, and then I want you guys getting this Warrior Enchantment third or whatever. Now, you can, okay, if you want, get this second. I'm actually doing this now, okay? Even if I'm like, you know, even like even or just ahead, I'm getting this second now because, it, first of all, it gives us 60 AD and 10% cooldown reduction. And this here gives us a chilling smite. Now, smite can be cast on enemy champions, dealing reduced true damage and stealing 20% movement speed. So this actually slows whoever we use it on. So say we were ganking bot lane, okay, and we come in here and we smite someone, okay, as champion, it's actually going to slow them down. So it gives us like another gap close or another form of CC, which is why I really like getting it early. So this is what I want your build looking like if you're ahead. If you're ahead, okay. Now after this, I want you guys to get dead man's. After that, we're gonna to go to Titanic, and then after that, okay, I'm not gonna to explain to you like the intricacies, we'll do that in later videos. I just want you guys copying this and getting this down pat. After that, we can either go GA, or we can go uh, more, depending on what they have. If they have a lot of AP, obviously going more is very, very beneficial, but if they don't, if they only have like one, maybe even two AP champions, then getting GA is perfectly viable, and we also get, you know, enough money, of course, for a red pot as well because it's less expensive than, than a more but ga is very good at the moment so if you guys go ga i have no issues with that at all this is if you're ahead of cool okay so let's just quickly recap so 
here, okay? First back, this is what we want. We want Tiamat, okay. We come back and on our second back or whenever it is, we're really far ahead, so we're gonna get mobiles and we might look to get something else, I don't know. So we build in Triforce first, we're gonna to look to get the Stinger before we get anything else, so we get the Stinger, okay. Then we build into a Sheen, okay, now we're back, now we've got Triforce. Okay, what do we build next? We go the Warrior, hopefully you guys are keeping up. <laughs> just look at the, just look at this like six piece thing here and you guys should be fine. So try and make you guys match mine anyway if you guys are ahead. So Triforce Warrior, then we wanna get Dead Man's, then we want to finish off our team out into a um, Titanic Hydra. We're going to sell the refill probably even earlier because we want some wards or whatever else we might want. And say they have a lot of AD, we're going to get GA. All right? That's your build if you get ahead. All right? If you guys are struggling early, okay, first of all, I'm just going to assume that you guys have enough gold to get a team out. And if you don't, I want you guys working towards it. So say we might even have, you know, we might even have like three of these, okay? So we have two longswords, sorry, and a rejuvenation beat. We don't actually quite have enough for Tim. And I want you guys getting this as soon as possible. All right, so whenever you can, that's your first buy. Now, if you guys are struggling, I would honestly don't even upgrade boots that early. I'll just get boots because it, it still gives you, you know, potential to gank and whatnot. And I would work into Warrior because Triforce will take a lot longer to build because it's obviously more expensive. And getting this first just gives us a chance to get back in the game. Okay. So I want us either getting, I, I, honestly, I prefer you getting this first because it gives your gains a bit more potential and it also, you know, lets you clear the jungle a bit quicker as well. So as I said, just copy what I'm doing, guys, if you guys are behind. And then once we finish this, then we can either go, okay, now it's interesting. This really depends how far behind you are. But if you guys are behind, I honestly want you guys going dead, man. I don't even want you guys going trifles. Go dead mans, and then after this, I would honestly like to see you guys go either Tarbis or Mertreads. This is if you're behind. So if you're ahead, you go Mobiles. If you're behind, I want you going either Ninja Tarby, depending on how much AD they have and who's fed. AD they have and who's fed. And Mertreads, depending on how much AP they have and who's fed on the other team. If they have an Orianna who's fed as, or an AP who's really, really fed, or even like an Elise who's really fed, get yeah, fucking Mertreads because it will help a lot. Okay. Um, after this, so say we get Mertreads or something like that, after this, it's really it's just situational on what you guys prefer. GA is also good here, so we're not even getting Triforce yet. Even finishing Titanic and last item, we could go more or something like that, so we don't even get a Triforce. And Triforce is very, very useful, but we don't need it if we're behind, okay? We do not need it. Our job early game, like if we're behind, isn't to fucking rush a Triforce, it's to try and be relevant. Okay, and this build will make you as, as relevant as possible. If you guys don't believe in your Shaka mechanics, okay, once you get better at it, go Triforce early. Don't go this build. Okay, this is just to keep us relevant and make sure that, you know, us Shaka players who are just beginning in the low elo don't fall too far behind, all right? So let me just do a quick recap. So we get the team out eventually. We're going to get some boots, and then we're going to try and finish the uh, Red Warrior enchantment as quickly as possible. Okay, then we're going to go Dead Man. Okay, so we're kind of like just skipping trifles, so that's all we're doing. Um, and a bit of change in the boots. So either Tarbis or Mertreads, depending on who's fed on their team and how much AP or AD they have. And after that, you can either go GA, more as well, like I said before. So it really just depends on what their comp is, but this is what I. These are the items I want you guys going. So. Uh, team out into the Titanic Hydric, GA, Dead Man's, Warrior Enchantment, more Tarbies. So there's really not that much. There's probably like 10 items to choose from. You guys have just got to incorporate or use whatever item is necessary or is expedient for that specific game. All right? Now, now we're going to start getting into the interest and stuff. So all this stuff, guys, is very, very like fundamental, imperative to understand and make sure you guys have down pat because that could be the difference, especially when you climb. That could be the difference between you winning a game and losing a game. Just your build. All right? Now, I'm going to show you guys how to clear the jungle quick. Okay? What you've all been waiting for. So, I know that you guys and most people benefit more from something which they can actually see. Visual demonstrations, okay? So, this is what we're going to do. So, wait for it here. Now, what I want you guys doing as well in this is asking your top lane to help you. So, 39, 40 seconds. You put your first box around here, okay? Now, what we're going to be doing is putting our three boxes. We're only putting three, not four here. We're putting our three boxes in like a little triangle, Illuminati triangle, all right? Because we are playing Shaco after all. And we're going to be clearing this blue buff, and then we're going to be going to Grom. So we want our first three boxes at blue, and we want our next box, because you can get four off, at Grom. 
Okay, so three here, one at Grog, and we're good to go. Okay, if you guys get invaded or something like this, what I would recommend is, first of all, pinging your fucking team. Okay, because it happens to me all the time. Pinging your team to help you. So these ones early. As soon as you spawn, do this. Type in chat, protect. Okay, and hopefully your team will respond and do it. Or if, you, if you're feeling hell fucking nervous, just do that. Superstitious, just do that. Paranoid, whatever. Just put a ward over there and you're fine. So our three boxes are here. Yeah. Our fourth box we want to really put not too close to Grom, probably like near one of these cracks here. So see these lines and we're sweet and we're good to go. Now, you remember me saying before how your backside would be useful to clear camps? We want to proc this as much as we can. So we proc it twice. So that's all. Now, imagine if we had like help from our top lane. It would make this a lot easier, but we don't. So it's fine. We can still do a full clear. Now, this is where the fourth box comes in handy. Just put the, the so you'll obviously have like a, another box ready after you do the uh, blue buff. So put it just anywhere around Grom. Now, you don't really want to take any damage from Grom, which you really didn't there. Okay. I can't really commentate on these, but with Wolves, you want to put a box around here just in front of this guy's head. We're going to backstab him once. And what you guys want if these two walls, the, li the little walls or whatever, attacking you and you want the big wolf attacking the, uh, the jack in the box. Okay. So we've popped a health pot here, obviously you don't want to get too low, you always want to be around 75% in the jungle. And obviously proc your backstab on all these camps guys, so you're passive, always get behind them and do as much damage as you can. And do it as, as often as you can as well. So race here, so we're going to do a full clear as I said. It's hard to get a backstab on this guy, but we got him. I want you guys smiting that one as well. So we're smiting the big right. So this wasn't the cleanest of, uh, of clears, but it's still fine. So we do race, then we're going to go to red buff. Even use your Q there. If you're confident their jungler isn't there, then obviously you can use your Q. And we get the backstab on him. So use your backstab as quick as you can. So already, we've already taken, we're only taking like a minute 20, but we're already at 11 farm. Okay. Get a backstab in there. Pop a health pot here, guys. You don't need to be wasting that much health. And we clear that nice and easy. All right. Now we're going to be going on to the uh, the golems. Now we want to clear this big one first. And then the little one. Okay, so you can just kite these. You don't really need to take that much damage from these guys. Okay. Put a box down in the middle of them. Just copy exactly what I'm doing, guys. This is not like fucking rocket science. This is pretty easy. All you guys have to do is just copy exactly what I'm doing here with this clear. And you guys will be sweet. So we really haven't wasted that much time. Okay. And we've got 22 farm already, which gives us nearly 900 gold. So we're already... Okay, let's just have a look. 300 gold off a tier. Now, in low elo, it's beautiful, okay, doing this. Because normally bot lane is gankable. If it's not, though, try and do scuttle crab or something like this. So you do scuttle crab. So if you guys watch my stream or whatever, there'll be a link in the description. You guys will see me doing this all the time. Doing Scuttle, which is easy to get early. And it gives you guys a lot more security, or laners anyway. Um, okay, and come in here, obviously obviously that won't be up. But to come in here, if Grump's up, then you do Grump. And you just look to do something. Normally you want to get like at least one gank off maybe by the time you've done a full clear. And just, just you just want to secure that tier match because it just gets us into a nice mid game. Let's say we're, um, I don't know, say we gank mid and something happens, maybe we get an assist or something, we back. And that's it, guys. That, that legit is just your first clear. How easy was that? Like, it's not that difficult. It's not daunting at all doing a full clear. It's easy, so I'm going to add some gold here. <laughs> so we go back and we get a tier mat, and we're going nicely. So remember those builds I taught you guys. Obviously, go there. Now, early game ganks. Say their guys was here and we had vision on them, so I'm just going to put a ward in here. No, don't attack me. Please don't. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, so this is exactly the same for top lane. So top lane looks exactly the same as this, where we are. What we're going to be doing here is learning just a basic Q. Now, this Q here is actually... You can actually get this once you master Shaka. You can actually um, jump over this wall. You can actually just completely go over it. But all we want to do here is just get a nice, easy Q over here. We're not going to worry too much about, you know, the fucking advanced cues and whatever advanced mechanics to check out all we want to do is just get over this wall so we can gag this bot lane they might be here they might be here they might be anywhere in this vicinity they might even be pushed up here which we can which in that case we wouldn't even need to keep but just for this, this is a nice little like wall hop you can so when you're running up here and going over this wall you don't want to be like headbutting it because if we were to queue for example to here it's not doing anything okay yeah we want to be as efficient as possible with our abilities let me just auto refresh 
what we want to be doing is queuing probably over this wall. Okay, so say this was, uh, I don't know, a support or ADC. We want to be going over this wall as quick as we can. Okay, and covering as much distance as possible. You guys may even have to practice this in a practice tool. Okay, exactly the same top line. So if we TP the top line over here, let's just go in here quickly. <coughs> so this will help for any gank you do, any level gank you do, this will just help. Okay, and that's sweet. That's all you guys have to do. Okay, but you can use your Q, you know, over walls and stuff like that, ganking mid lanes, which may be here. Spawn behind them, use your Q. Okay, that's very, very simple. And that's what I want you guys doing as well. What I want you guys to do when you're ganking is to try and put a box down. So say this guy is the champion, put a box down right behind them and auto attack them. Because it makes them, it forces them into a decision, decision either to go through your box, okay? Or it forces them into a decision to go around, which gives you a bigger chance and more time to do damage to them, okay? Which at that time, they're probably either going to have to flash over your box or flash out or something like that. And it will just make you burn summoners, okay? Especially in mid lane, it's very, very easy to gain. Same as bot lane, if we were to queue out down here, or any lane, if we were to queue out down here again, and we put a box down here and backstab this guy, it forces him into a decision to either go all the way around here or flash out here through here. So we're going to burn summoners at the least, all right? So very important to realize, guys, always put, like, after your queue, now remember, your W doesn't actually show you after your Q, okay? So when you're ganking, always try and put a Q down, um, a box down, sorry. All right, so so we do it here again. Put a box down, auto attack him, and it forces him into a decision either to go all the way around the box or flash over it and you burn some. Okay? That's what I want you guys thinking about as Shaka when you're ganking early game. Um, other tips I can show you guys. I don't really want to go into too much detail. But you can use your W, your box to block skill shots. So say the other team, it would be easier if I had like um someone to help me, but I really can't be fucked because it's just such a long video anyway. Say they had a Lee on the other scene and you were fighting with him here, you know, you use your tear mat, you know, you E him or whatever else. And say you're running away and he tries to land a Q, you can actually put a box right there and his Q will hit the box. Your box will act as like kind of like a shield for yourself, okay? So this will work for any skill shot, so whether it be Elise Cocoon, uh, Lee Sin Q, anything like that, it will hit this box first. Okay, and the box um, obviously protects you from getting hit by. Okay, so that's one tip if you're uh, skirmishing someone. So if you're skirmishing with a Lee Sin jungle early, if you predict that Q run and quickly chuck a box down, it will hit the box. And because Lee Sin's Q early game is pretty much like his only real you know, damage threat, everything else is kind of, you don't really have to worry about, you will win that trade, okay? So that's like a nice little tip to know, that your box will block skill shots. Okay, so what I mean is that when you're backing like this, you'll actually be invisible if you queue first before doing it. So we'll actually um, back while being invisible. So really our recall lasts only five seconds. We do it again. So it only lasts five seconds. Once our queue lasts three seconds, okay? And the last shot was is just the ultimate. The last shot, did I say? The last tip is just the ultimate. So using your ult to dodge skill shots, okay? Again, it would be easier if we had something to... Um, you know, who obviously has skill shots, and this game will end in one minute, so I've got to kind of hurry this up. So our ultimate here, say this guy is a champion, and he Oriana ult, say his ball is where the ward is, and he comes and he's back to Shockwave. We can actually press R, the Shockwave will hit, and it will dodge us. I've got multiple videos on my channel of me doing this, so if you guys are interested in seeing more advanced techniques like that, but yeah, this was just a very basic video, guys, of the fundamentals of Shaka, his abilities, builds, um, summoner spells, what to level up, and stuff like this.